CM Fusion 20, take one. So official. <laughs> well, don't laugh. We haven't started yet. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I am Brent Colby. Are you? <laughs> but uh, hey, everyone. My name is Brent Colby. And I'm Ashley Best. <laughs> Can you talk into your microphone, please? Check one, two. And I'm Stephen Salmon, just like the fish. You're listening to the Fusion Children's Ministry Podcast. Not the blogcast, we're back to the podcast because we have the best, Ashley Best, with us today. Ashley, hey, welcome to the table. Welcome, thank was that, you. Well, that's what we're doing, we're pounding it. That's what nice. I did, yeah. Welcome to the blogcast. I am curious if you were a DJ, because I know you have kind of music background. In a former life, I was a DJ. Okay, what was Hold your on, DJ Hold on, before we get into that, yeah. as always, today's episode is oh, not yeah. sponsored by... Handle with care. If you have the best thing around, you need to handle it with care. <laughs> All right, so now that we got that out of the way. DJ oh. name, what was it? Come on. Uh, it was. You had a good one. I did have a good one. Is it appropriate for the podcast? Ooh. Is that what you're Maybe saying? Maybe I blocked it out. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you oh. oh, blocked it out. Oh, oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. gotcha okay, gotcha. I understand. I understand. Those are touchy things. You know, you don't just want to be throwing that around because what if your DJ career takes off again? You don't want to throw your name out there and have someone That's else true. take it. You could right? be like Sia. You, copyrighted. you just, no one ever knows who you are. Grow my yeah. bangs out really long. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. It's an option. Nice. Uh, Hey guys, I had a baby just a few weeks ago. Did you guys know this? Well, I didn't have a baby. I've had zero babies, but my wife has now had (laughs) four babies, and they're all beautiful. I'll send Greg a picture. You guys guys can all admire my beautiful baby. Say, aww. Aww. Yeah, that's Madeline. Madeline is gorgeous. She's number four, the addition to the fam. That is so And that has nothing to do with anything. Uh, I do have something awesome. Now, it's also a little disturbing. So we were actually just clicking on it a second ago, but mm-hmm. there is an old, we were looking through oh, some old this advertisements. Is so good. This is so good. <laughs> Greg tipped us Almost off. Almost as good as Ashley Beth. <laughs> <laughs> Greg tipped us off to Mr. Microphone, so which if you've not seen a Mr. Oh, Microphone oh, commercial, yeah. you need to Watch see. It. But then Watch we were it. reminded of a Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen advertisement, advertising, I don't, is it a brand? It's just. I don't think, I think it's think from it's one just, of their episodes. <laughs> it's just a song about, Pizza. So pizza. We're gonna play a sample of this for you now, yeah. if you will. Pizza. Here it goes. Pizza. You're allowed to dance or bob your head there. <laughs> yeah, DJ, it's okay. DJ best. So it looks like I'm going. Is this a slumber party or is this an after school Definitely, hangout? Hey, this has to be a slumber party because they ate all the food. Yeah, they went and cleared. Did you hear them? They cleared out their parents' <laughs> fridge. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's and, like awful. If I was a parent and came back and all my food had been cleared out of my fridge by my seven-year-old, like, twin daughters yeah. to put on a pizza that they ordered themselves somehow, yeah. I'd be upset. There's a lot of questions. Where are the parents, though? That's the real question. Yeah. It's Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. <laughs> People have been asking that question for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> and the th- there's already a pizza in front of them, plus there's tons of other food. How are these girls still hungry? Yeah. yeah. The, the table is throwing Chinese with- food on there, <laughs> ice cream. They just pull up a fish, whipped cream, just like, hey, we just got a cheese pizza. Just throw all this stuff on yeah. there. Kids, Gross. you don't need pizza. What is that girl holding the fish? You don't need, you have food already. What are, you, what, what are they going to do with an entire fish with all its eyeballs and everything just attached? <laughs> sure, we're just going to throw this on the pizza. This is going to taste good. Okay, but actually, here's the thing. That is actually not what the Something Awesome is this week. Okay. The Something Awesome is this video played in slow motion. Now, oh. uh, this video has been viewed exponentially more than the original Gimme Pizza yeah. into the millions. And so as yeah. you can see, it is the only exact same video, just slowed down. Yeah, and only slightly viewed more times than our videos. Yes, slightly. <laughs> so here they are. Maybe that's what we need to do in our videos. Is just Can we do that real quick? Can we slow them down real quick, Greg? Slow. No, we don't, don't have do to slow yourself. down. Yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Brent Colby. I'm Ashley. <laughs> 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 okay, so here's the slow version of Ashley Kate and uh, Ashley Olsen. Ashley Kate? <laughs> <laughs> it's creepy. It's the beautiful. Olsen twins. Oh. 
Okay, guys, we've cleaned out the refrigerator. I think we're just about ready to build the perfect pizza. Give me a pizza! If you've never seen it before, uh, it, it is Check it out. three minutes and 28 seconds of your life. You will not regret. I no, can guarantee it's you that. Awesome. It'll bring a smile to any bad day. Oh. <laughs> so, hey, Stephen, what are we talking about today? We are talking about how to survive the summer dip. Summer is here. Yes. It's happening. School's out. For Brent, that means guns out. He's got these huge <laughs> biceps. It's pretty awesome. But. People are also going on vacation. Kids don't have school. The schedule is completely out of whack. And usually we see it a dip in the summer months in church attendance. Yeah. And that can be discouraging. And it's always tough because you want to bring your best to the table, but there are some weekends where you feel like nobody is mm -hmm. there. And if you run a midweek program, you really find yourself in a, a lot of situations where do we continue, yeah. do we stop? It's it's tough to process. Yeah. and what we're kind of all looking around right now is there's a child screaming in the background somewhere here and we just heard it and we're trying to see if it's going to show up here in the podcast yeah, it's but possible to take out any doubt i just wanted to talk about it real quick yeah so actually you grew up in the church participating in ministry you've been really involved is this something you guys have experienced in the churches that you have been a part of where the summer attendance would kind of go down and what did you do to adjust um i think overall Sunday attendance would go down. My youth pastor was really good about hosting summer camps for us. So that was always a summer highlight. Mm -hmm. um, our church will do a big collective barbecue um, in the summer. That's mm, nice. always something we look forward to. Nice. Um, just kind of those laid back, like summer family memories that we just extend to the whole church. So what you're kind of saying is, your church knew this was gonna happen, so they kind of ramped up the events almost to try and bring the people in, because now, hey, we've got to get them here. Yeah. They've got this time, and so let's do something to... Yeah, but I think the key is if you do something in the summer, do like a youth group pool party or a church barbecue potluck, something that you don't have to church get a lot of... Church in the pool. You don't have That's to get good. a lot of volunteers yeah. because people don't want to work in the summer. Yeah. So some kind of sure. event where people can all pitch in and help. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's, one, ooh, that's good. One thing we did to survive the summer dip was we actually would give all of our normal volunteers the summer off. Mm -hmm. So we would have people sign up for semesters. And I know each church does this different. I see your eyebrows go up. We do a fall right, commitment. If any of my volunteers are watching this, we have not <laughs> talked about this. A fall commitment, a spring commitment, and then a summer commitment. That and is good. We did wow. not expect, we did not. Uh, there was no expectation that you would do all three year mm -hmm. long. I would really go out of my way to find a crew of people who would yeah. come in for the summer. And because it's a lighter schedule, typically, right, it's right, a little more right. playing around. It's just more, it's just yeah. it, laid back. Like it's Ashley more laid said. back. Yeah. It was really easy, actually, for me to recruit a different team. And all my normal volunteers loved just having the summer off. That's good. Yeah. Huh. It was really fun. That's something I've always done. And it's always seemed to really work out. This is why he's the best. Almost the best. Almost. I was the yeah, best. That's right. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys do, Stephen? You guys have a really active church. You do a lot of events and stuff. Do you do it? Yeah, we do. We summers? do events and different things. But I don't know. Something we've kind of we 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 struggle with the same thing. But uh, I think something that we do is we try to make our programming almost like we're there's a we're giving something away, almost trying to buy. Their attendance you bribe that you almost, bribe people. yeah. Just say it, you bribe yeah, people pretty the much, church. but yeah. not with money or anything like that. Just but gift no, 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 not <laughs> gift cards. But we might do a series where at the end of the series, every kid is taking home something, like um, maybe a goldfish or spy glasses. You guys are giving away goldfish to kids. Dude, yeah, be fishers of men. <laughs> you get goldfish. Be fishers of men. Bring home a live goldfish. How, how cool is it? When every kid comes down, they got a goldfish, and their parents are like, "Why oh, do you have a goldfish?" Parents just ticked off no, that he just gave them a goldfish. They love it. Oh, yeah. And if they don't it? love it, it's like three cents. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't love it, then they can flush it down the toilet. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Or 
If you do this and parents come back with goldfish, Ashley will take all the goldfish from That's any true. event that you do. She that will keep true. them and she will give them They'll a nice still home. They'll go down the toilet. No, nope, they will get a nice <laughs> home. It will be a nice home. So you go out of your way to entice people to bring them into your church. You feel Almost like that? Almost something, but like an event or something. But we would try to we try to make things more laid back and low key for the volunteers. But we want to do something for the kids to bring them in. But we also I finally just as the leader had to be okay with it, yeah. that it was gonna be a little bit less and not to beat myself up over it. Because when you start getting into that vicious cycle, you start analyzing everything, you go, okay, what did I do last week that I'm not doing this week and all this stuff. And you just, you know what? People, people are on a different schedule over the summer. And that doesn't mean we can't still teach the word of God and, and reach people for Jesus and still put forth our best. But we just have to be aware that doing our best is what God has asked of us. And just because maybe less people come because they're in Hawaii or something, doesn't mean we're doing a bad job. Yeah, yeah. This was always easier for me as a youth pastor than as a kids pastor. Oh, yeah. Youth pastors, you guys have it easy. In student ministries, it was. Because you could just say, hey, meet me here at a place at a time. Yeah, let's the play park. basketball and I'll tell you about God. Yeah, it, it was easy. And but and really fun, a great opportunity. And kids is very different than that because you can't just say, hey, meet me there. Or, hey, let's, let's hang out. You can't really text them either. Yeah. One, even if they have phones, <laughs> yeah. it's sketchy. You don't want to Two, be doing that. Yeah, they so, probably don't have phones. Yeah, but it is hard because you really are at the mercy of the family schedule. And it's so totally. different during the summer. Totally. It, yeah. And uh, that's something to remember, too, because... I think there is a temptation to do a bunch of extra stuff because uh, you can, mm -hmm. but really the, the families aren't less busy during the summer. They're more busy. They're trying to do all the summer stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I think when you do put extra events down, you just have to be aware of the fact that those yeah. families are just as busy now. The yeah. kids may not be in school, but the family unit is just as busy, yeah. if not more busy in the summer than yeah. they are doing their school year. But I think families are more open to playing together in the summer. Yeah. Yes. So host some kind of family event like inflatables, dunk tank, yeah. basketball tournament, something that everybody can come together and do because when you have school and right. school activities, parents are going to say, oh, we don't have time to yeah. all hang out together. And make it something sustainable too. Something Craig Rochelle always says is, are you going to be doing this in five years from now? goes, don't just add a bunch of events, do something event that you're gonna wanna do again five years from now, and so that's good. Like something that yeah. is like a family event that you can make big and reproduce, and mm -hmm. then people are really looking forward to the summer because they know that this event is coming up. Like we have Breakaway, what we do for all of our elementary kids every summer, it's our big, uh, what traditionally be called like a VBS type thing, and um, that's huge. Summer camp going away. That's huge. Awesome. Those things, those things are great. Yeah. Yeah. Summer camp. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely, people are open to trying different stuff for yeah. sure mm -hmm. in the summer. Yeah. So, yeah. so you've given away five years of goldfish. Is that what you're telling us? No. <laughs> so there's a family of three in your church that now has 15 goldfish they're caring for. This was one series. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> One series. Hey, we'd love to hear what you guys do in the summer. There's so many cool, creative things that we see churches doing all over the Let place. Let us know what you're doing because I'd love to hear about it because you probably have better ideas than me and I want to do what you guys are doing. Just to rip you off. Yeah. <laughs> if you have eyes, plagiarize. Ed Young told me that. So, you know what? I've, I've, I've taken it to heart. Yeah, and Andy Stanley <laughs> told Ed that, so yeah, it makes probably, perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's not, it's not a secret. Yeah. So, hey, I've been Brent Colby. I've been Ashley Best. And I am Stephen Salmon, <laughs> just like the fish. We will see you guys next time. In one year. <laughs>